Okay, this time, well, from the last uh, video, which I made just a few, you know, about a half hour ago, I had all 24 batteries. Now I have two sets of 12 hooked up in this configuration. Like I said on my uh, posting, I believe the uh, my initial test was uh, very positive. So here we go. We're going to see how long this goes. See if I can get to go at least 10 minutes for this video. Here we go. And I did remove the top coil just because I want to see it and I don't really intend on using it. I want to get another set of this wire and put it on top instead. The other coil was like, like an original coil that I made a long time ago and it really didn't do anything. I consider this my first real Newman setup. But. And another thing I do like is I can put a little bit of pressure here. And I'm not putting a lot, but enough that maybe, you know, it's well, at least a decent torque. This is kind of what I've been trying to shoot for for later on. Yeah, it so I'm hoping to go for 10 minutes. Hope this will run for an entire 10 minutes. I think it will. I believe I needed to come up with enough current uh, to outdo the uh, back resistance, the, the, the inductive resistance of this coil. Only reason why I needed to up my current, I really don't like doing that because Newman is trying to say that it should run off a of voltage only. But with these batteries, even with all 24 batteries in series, I ended up generating enough uh, uh, um, inductive resistance to uh, cancel any flow through the coil. So I need some more current. And I intend to order some uh, analog meters here pretty soon too. I'm going to let it run for a minute. I'll be right back. And I am, I'm back, and I believe that if I put the top coil on, I get twice as much torque. And that would be a good thing. Then I'll probably be able to move on with my experiment to another part. Add on to it. Okay, four minutes, 15 seconds into the video. Not necessarily has run that long, but I only got four minutes into the video. And my camera seems to be blinking out a little bit. Probably some interference from the magnetic field. Surprised the camera is even working, but some flickers in there, and I'm thinking that might be from magnetic field or maybe some low batteries <laughs> Man, it's kind of boring just to watch this spin but it's proof of concept here though I am using 
two sets of uh, 12 batteries. That's don't want all that kind of current but I think this is a winner. It seems to be working. Okay, six minutes, thirty seconds into the video. And no, this time I did not take a uh, sample of the voltage beforehand. Probably should have. Oops. Just trying to see if this will run ten minutes. And not be uh, interrupted by the... Uh, Inducted uh, inductive resistance or impedance, and it seems to be nice and steady. It is not any warmer or cooler, as far as I can tell by my hand. Okay, seven minutes, thirty seconds into the video. Uh oh, slowing down. Well, back to steady, back in steady now. Maybe with my interference. Little stutter there. Something's slowing it down. Come on. Okay, nine minutes. Almost done. Nine minutes, forty seconds. Sorry, we're gonna have to pull it, call it quits here in a minute. Second. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And there we go.